my name is Saraline Tathley and I'd like to welcome you to my 17-year retrospective entitled Encounters, showing at Reeves Art and Design during the month of May. The work I have created dates back to 2005 and is a selection of portraits, nudes, self-portraits and interiors of people and experiences that I have had during this time frame. Some of these encounters last no more than an hour. Some, of, some exist over a course of 10 years. Others, like the painting of my mother and sister, may last my entire lifetime. When painting and recording my experiences with subjects, I have no idea the length of time they'll be part of my life. I look back at these works as documentations of my history, which I can reflect upon and also share with others. There are four key elements central in creating my work. They have been consistent since I began painting and drawing as a teenager. My first love is portraiture and the expression of personality. I enjoy different faces and character traits. I love learning about myself and also trying to apply this to understand the people I interact with. My second area of interest is identity. We are complex individuals that relate to each other in unique ways. The canvas has always been a safe place for me to experiment with different aspects of identity. I use wigs, makeup, color schemes, costumes, backgrounds, and sometimes other people to express various aspects of who I am. My final key areas of discussion are mental illness and stigma. Many of this, my self-portraits directly address these issues. I recently created a series of portraits in which I painted my face in a variety of patterns some of which are on display. The more complex the pattern, the more the painting process eased my worries and anxieties. One of the portraits on exhibition features my waving hand pushing my nose up as my face is painted in stripes. The abstract pattern is intended to be pleasing while the facial expression is intentionally bizarre. I use images of myself to test boundaries. What makes the viewer comfortable? What will they reject for being abnormal? In closing, I'd like to discuss a little bit about process. The works that are on display are both paintings on paper and canvas and monotype prints. Photography and drawing also act as secondary tools utilized in my works. I began creating prints in my first year of grad school. I entered the monotype class almost by an accident, but it came to be a very important part of my process. Monotypes has not only allowed me to experiment and learn a lot about painting, but it also is a beautiful art in and of itself. There are a lot of bumps involved in the process. I must be aware of drying time, the whites of the paper, thickness of paint, pressure with which to press the print, media, and the wetness of the paper. Because my prints are large scale, I hand press them on the floor with a towel as opposed to using a printing press. It's an expensive process in which I go through a lot of trials and materials to achieve the perfect print. I enjoy most the sense of freedom I have painting, knowing the final pressed print will look almost nothing like the painted plate. Enjoy the show and please contact me if you have any questions about my work.